Hello, it's me again. And uh, this is a, I'm just going to show you an example of the potential for uh, what the Jetson products can do with just the right combination of, 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 of things. As you can see, I've got a program running here, and here's this, uh, I call it the NVIDIA YOLO Deepstream Object Detector. And as you can see, it's picking up objects. This is it's running NVIDIA DeepStream 5. Um, this program I built in a, a, a free software that's called Ignition Maker, and I'll show that to you. Like just how how much potential is in that. Also, when you combine them all together, and what they've done is running DeepStream uh, 5, and I'm running the the YOLO application of it. As you can see, it's picking up all the stuff here. Okay, so and what I've done is I I've made it so you can you can choose what you want to detect and how you want to detect it. As you can see, it says I've got, there's three cups, one, two, three cups, there's two bowls, there's four bottles, there's four forks, there's three spoons, there's four bananas, there's six oranges, there's a chair, there's a keyboard, there's a sofa, and there's a dining table. So, you know, the, all this stuff is going on at one time. So what happens if you want to, like, detect something, all, all you have to do is you come over here, I don't have a person, uh, let's see. This is this is the YOLO application. So there's 80 selections you can choose from. You can choose all these things. And so let's see. Let's pick the chair here. I think I already got a chair. Oh no, cup. Let's do a cup. So it picks the cups and starts counting the cups. I've got three cups. I mean, there's I give you get 10 selections. Each one of these is they, there's the 80. There's a TV monitor. I don't see a TV monitor in there. So let's do a, a sofa. Let's see. Oh, the dining table. I don't think we got a dining table. So we go, I need to put these in alphabetical order, but let's see. Bird, cat, horse. You can choose all these things for it to recognize. Once you choose it, it starts recognizing it. Uh, let's see. Dining table. So it says we got one dining table, you know, and then uh, we don't have a potted plant. But, uh, and you can see um, it's I'm getting the frame count, the total objects. And uh, here, like you say, each one of these will allow you to select which object you want to uh, monitor. This is all done. All of this is being done in the, uh, I have a Jetson uh, and Xavier, Xavier NX running all this. But this will run in the Nano just the same. You, you just have to point to uh, the, the, the tiny YOLO. I'm running the full-blown YOLO here, and this is just the tiny YOLO. It's running 30 frames a second. I mean, you know, and what's nice about this, this, the, the deep stream is right now I'm running a webcam and, uh, this, this will also, it'll run a webcam, it'll run an IP cam, and it'll also run MP4 files can run through this program. And it does all the same things. You can select everything, you can count them. And then once you get that, you can utilize whatever you want to do with it. So just to kind of make sure it's going. So where have we got, let's see, uh, got three cups. Four bottles. Do we got any forks? Oh, we don't have any forks in here. Let's find some forks. I don't have a mouse. And some spoons. Let's see. Fork. And uh, I don't have a potted plant. See, has and then some spoons. Spoon. Where Mr. Spoon go? I just say they got to go in order. See spoons. It says I got three spoons, four forks, um, two bowls, three cups, four bottles. You know I got cups here. Let's go back to I got what happened to my chair. Where's my chair? Uh, let's go back. Let's get a chair in here. I mean it detects all of these just by selecting them. It'll start counting them and detecting them if they were in here. Chair. Let's see. Chair. 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 So you've got one chair. So let's kind of make sure. Let's remove some bowls. Yes, these bananas, oranges, a bottle. Let's see, as you can see now, we have just two forks. Um, we have four oranges. Where's our oranges? Where do oranges go? Oh, we need some oranges in here. Oh, we don't need two cups. Let's get some oranges in here. Oranges. 
orange. So it says, how many oranges? I got three oranges. It's kind of having an issue with this one. It's, just, it's a little baby orange. There we go. Orange. So as you can see, it, it, it detects everything. It can count them. And then, uh, you know, you can select up to uh, from 80 different items because this is running the YOLO. So um, I'm going to kind of show you kind of how this is all being, how this is going on. By the way, this is a, this program, any, any web page can access this program. That's the neat thing about the, uh, the Ignition uh, Maker. Um, you can do that. Now I'm going to, I'm going to BNC into the NX to kind of show you what's going on here. What I've done is like right here, here's the, the, the deep sync program running. It just shows kind of what's going on. And then uh, let's see, you can see if I change something, uh, let's see, it'll try and it'll come across like right here. I'm going to change this to just a bicycle. See, and it goes down here and it says, start looking for the bicycle. And what it does is like, I, I, I've converted the, uh, the items the words into numbers so basically send a number in there and then that's associated to I'm going to show you this this is a now this is the line Xavier NX running and here's the program that it's running this is the just the deep stream ignition uh, uh, program that I modified it runs these USB RTSP YOLO and it's running this these are all just the things and this is what it does when I when I put in the uh, it select it in the program what it does is it selects it a number and then associates the uh, PGI class to a number and then that's how it associates everything and this is just uh, it, what's going on this is the program it's the same um, I want once I get done with coalescing I have got two more programs to go with all this information I'm gonna get them all corrected and I'm gonna post them on my github repo so if you guys want to reproduce this you can and like the the best thing to do is I've got a lot of applic I've got a lot of like videos tutorials on kind of combining this all together. So if you wanted to do, combine it all together and make this for yourself, you know, there's all the information will be out there for you. Now here's like this. This is all everything that's on the uh, NX right here the program I'm running. And uh, what it is is this is the the program I'm running. Let's see if you scroll up higher up here. See, I'm running. Uh, I, I uh, CD into this file and this is what I'm running and then it loads the program and starts running it and what this is this is a, a an FFF server so what I've done is I've taken the RTSP stream that's coming from the deep stream 5 and I'm, I'm converting it over to HTTP because HTTP is just an easier easier for us to work with and then what happens is this is the server in that right here this program is doing the conversion. This is a conversion the RTSP uh, stream to HTTP. And then what happens, it all comes over in here. Now, what this program is, I'll show you this. This is the Ignition Maker. And this is the program that, that, that uh, I built all this in. Okay. And uh, as you can see, um, this is the neat thing about this. It's, a, it's the designer. This is where I designed it all in. And you can do change, add things. I'm, I'm making a chart right here. I mean, you can put all kinds of things in here. Gauges, uh, alarms, icons, everything. This is just like a, a, a programming interface that you can build the interface with and collect all your data. And this is all the information that's coming in. This is right here, the edge nodes, spark plug, NVIDIA, Xavier NX. And these are the, the, the information that's coming in and out. Let me see. See right there output so when I do a selection up here it selects here and then it goes into the um, the deep stream program and selects which one to count and then it starts counting them. now uh, what's neat about this is this whole server and all this stuff is running on the NX and here's an example of the server that's running on the NX uh, that's like that. and by the way like I said any web browser can access this program all you have to do is just got to be able to access the uh, the Xavier NX. Let's see, and then this is the the DNC. Now, where is that? Oh, right here. 
Now, right now as I'm on my um, uh, I'm on my development computer right here, but what I'm doing is I'm accessing the server, the Ignition Maker server that's inside the NX, and uh, this is uh, all the things that this can do. Oh, you guys get to see my password. And like this is this is the server that's actually inside the NX running, and it's collecting all this data, and it's just combining it, and it's producing um, this right here, this program. And let's see, and that was what's nice about the, the by the way, the, this this is free. Just this whole program right here is free for you to use. Now, what's nice about it is like, um, what's good about this is. This has, let me see if I can find it, modules. This is all the things you can do with this. I mean, once you collect the data in here, you can send it to a PLC. There's a Modbus driver. You can send it to Modbus stuff. OPC UA, uh, Siemens drivers, SQL bridge. Um, and this is, this is my MQTT. This is a spark plug I loaded in here. And that's what's doing the talking between uh, uh, the NX and um, uh uh, ignition maker. So, you know, when what my plan is, I'm going to gather all this information in, have somebody make selections, and then I'm send it to Alan Bradley PLCs for it to, to do what I want. And what's another thing that's nice about this program, it also, it has a, um, let's see, it has a database. So all the information and everything that's going on, I can collect and I can use a database to like do his history, um, do all kinds of things. I mean, this is, uh, you combine these two together, you know, this is the, the development, that's the development software. If you're able to, you know, once you combine all these things together, the NX, uh, Ignition Maker, um, you know, all the other applications that are all combined together, you can have a very powerful tool. And one of the things that I'm going to do with this is, uh, we have issues with, uh, uh, the birds they get on our power lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up to detect birds. And I'll give, let's say, once there's two or three birds show up on the power line, it'll set off a relay and, uh, you know, it'll scare the birds away or something like that. Because we have things that do that now, but the birds get so used to it because it's there's no randomness to it. This way you'll actually, you know, won't go off until it sees like birds. But anyway, I just wanted to point out that, you know, the enormous potential, you know, when you combine... The, the the Xavier NX and DeepStream and all these other programs together. What what uh, pretty awesome programs you could build. All right, I guess that's it. You know, uh, like I say, once I kind of coalesce all this my programming, I'm gonna put all the programming for this on the Git GitHub my GitHub repo, and you should be able to use that and my tutorials to to build something like this if you like. All right, thank you very much. Bye. Be safe.